should I give myself a little beard? Just watching Jenny and Georgia and procrastinating on work. There's my yitty bra. What are you doing in here? This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've been sick. Oh, do y'all see that? Look at those little lines. The sun is actually coming up. That's so funny. I just started recording and tell me why the do y'all see that? Today is gonna be a good day. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what the heck? But this day started out rainy, gloomy. Like I woke up, my room was still dark. It's now 8.30. I've been awake for about two hours. I know it was early, but usually my room is never that dark. So I was just like, oh great. Today's gonna be a gloomy day, but tell me why. As soon as I pressed record, the sun started to come out and now it's starting to hide again. So lately I have been sick. I mean, I went to the doctor, they tested me for mono strep because I had a sore throat and they said that it came back negative so I didn't have any of those so they were kind of like I don't know what's going on you might just have a cold have you been sleeping with the fan on now that I think about it if it comes from being actually cold we sleep beside this window right here it's a nice window but all the rest of the windows in the house have been replaced besides this one and one in that room and those rooms stay cold and me and Kevin did realize that there was some air coming out through the windows we haven't had a chance to replace it yet I had a guy doing a quote but I don't know <coughs> excuse me the weather has been better so that's why i'm not wearing sleeves don't judge what i'm wearing right now i kind of just have on my depression clothes but yeah i think there's cold air when we're sleeping coming out through this window and the fact that we're sleeping by it is not good so today stormy wants to get in the video say hi stormy say hi Anyways, one of the things on my agenda is going to be to move my bed because I need to stop sleeping by this window and Kevin probably does too. We don't need to get sick anymore. You also can't see that my room is covered in clothes. Don't worry, I will show you later. No matter how embarrassing it is, I will show you. And you might be like, Sierra, you don't look like you've been sick. You don't look like you need a shower. Well, I do. The reason my hair is actually looking kind of cute, kind of slay. This morning when I woke up, I like seven something Kevin left for work and I had a brand deal that I had to get done because like I said I've been sick I have not felt like working on all my brand deals it was a hair video so it kind of forced me to get up and do my hair so I'm not mad about it and it was work but if it wasn't for that I'm not even gonna lie I would still be in bed with a big fro with half my hair sticking out of my ponytail holder first I'm just gonna take a shower I mean I know I have cleaning to do but I'm not gonna feel like cleaning if I feel and look disgusting we're gonna start with a shower we're kind of doing it backwards but that's okay there's no rules here and the theme of today's video is getting my life back together because I have actually seen some videos like getting my life back together and it's just people cleaning their LA apartments that are already clean getting some juice and going to the gym like babes I literally need to get my life together I have been off the planet earth for like three days while I've been sick just watching Jenny and Georgia and procrastinating on work so yeah time to get our together y'all it is like a whole freaking hour later i have been watching like recipe videos tiktoks <sighs> i need to step away and i'm about to get in the bathtub for real i'm gonna take a bath because relaxing please take tiktok off of my phone so much better. I promise I'm still wearing that tube top so y'all aren't gonna have any slips. I decided to light a little candle that I got from Bath and Body Work. It smells so good in here. I don't know why I've never thought of doing that before. It's the Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and Tiki Peach or Beach. Sorry, Beach. It smells so good. I'm probably about to watch some Love Island on my phone while relaxing in the bath for a little bit. I like my baths scorching hot. If it's not hot then it's not for me. Should I give myself a little beard? But one thing I will say, I can only stay in the bath for about 10 to 15 minutes before I start like overloading on heat. So yeah, I probably won't be in here too long, but I'm gonna enjoy it while I can. One thing I will say that I hate about the new house that I have, because my old house, my bathroom was a lot bigger, but this one is a very small bathroom, both of the bathrooms that we have. <coughs> 
much so it won't fit a garden tub and I wish I had a garden tub that's the one thing that would make this house so much better because I just love chilling in a garden tub laying down relaxing like this one you can lay down but it's just not as comfortable as it is in a garden tub but I'm gonna try to let myself relax try not to think about all the stuff I have to do today and how messy my house is right now don't even want to think about it if you guys are feeling down run yourself a bubble bath and light a candle because you will feel so much better it would be better knowing that my whole house was clean if I were to wait and do this after my house was clean but I just felt like I needed to take a bath I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my bath I love you guys and I'll see you soon so yeah, this is what my notorious closet room is looking like. We all know that this has never looked put together. <laughs> what better room to start with? Also, because the lighting is really good in here, but when it starts to get later out, the lighting goes to the other side of the house. Some of these clothes over here are dirty. Some of them are clothes that I don't even want, but just need to take out of here. Some of them just need to be folded or hung up, and it's a mess. I don't know if you guys ever do this, but I make like mental piles in my room for when I actually do want to clean, so I make it a little bit easier on myself for example I was putting all my dirty clothes in this basket and then this basket over here was the clothes that I'm getting rid of like posting on my deep pop stuff like that I'm actually gonna put those in the closet for now this room is very tiny so my shoe rack is covering my closet <coughs> So that just cleared up like half my floor space and we'll just put the dirty clothes basket over here because I'm sure I'll have more dirty clothes that I find along the way. This goes in the other room. Close these drawers. Close up some of this. Any clothes I find I'm just gonna throw on the chair. Did y'all just see how the sun literally okay now it's coming back I think. Now it's going back away. That's so weird. I have so much trash up here that I'm gonna throw away. Bro, my trash is literally full and it's been like this for like a week. Kevin is supposed to take my trash, but he never does. It is actually really freaking hot. Like lately it has felt like summer. And that's so weird because it's been so cold lately. And then yesterday and today it randomly decides to be warm outside. But I'm not complaining because usually my mental health is so much better when the weather is warm. As much as I hate going outside when the weather is warm, I tend to do it more just because it's something about the weather. It just makes me feel better. Now would you look at that? The room's basically clean. Before I get started, I think I want some breakfast. Normally I would order in something lately at least because I've been sick and haven't felt like cooking, but we're not gonna do that today. I'm actually gonna cook. Another thing I've really got to do is go grocery shopping, but I really need to eat this sausage. So I guess I'm just gonna chop that up and I don't know what I'm gonna eat it with. I don't know if this is weird, but I think I'm gonna have potatoes with it. I just dropped a potato, it's rolling under the fridge. So I'm gonna be putting the sausage in the air fryer. I'm just making do with what I got. I'm basically making a seafood boil without the seafood. I don't have any shrimp or any legs just lying around. So I'm just gonna put some sausage, potatoes, and probably some canned corn. It's okay, we're just making do with what we got. So I also added some canned cabbage and some canned corn, and then all the spices that usually are in like a crab boil. I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. If you're not familiar with Squarespace, they are the best website to go to for building your brand and creating a beautiful website. A very helpful tool that Squarespace offers is seeing your site not only in desktop view, but you can also see it in mobile view. So many people are gonna be using their phone to view your website, so this is a great feature. You can also link all of your socials to your website, which will automatically redirect anyone looking on your website to your Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You can also sync your Squarespace to your Facebook and Instagram and allow customers to purchase products directly from posts and stories. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Sierra Ann to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. And thanks again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, you're gonna kind of judge me a little bit, but... <coughs> Oh, I'm still sick. I've been coughing all day. And once I ate that food, I felt kind of bland. And then I started watching Gossip Girl because I realized there was new episodes. Now it's like 1.30 p.m. And I gotta get this room done. So I went down there to the closet room that I was mentioning. And yeah, it was pitch dark because the sun obviously went away, like I told you. This room stays pitch dark and I don't understand it. I don't think I'm gonna have time to clean like the whole house, but you know what that means? I think we're just gonna have to turn this into a series. Now that I'm getting used to posting on my YouTube, YouTube more I'm gonna turn getting my life together into a YouTube series and this is gonna be starting over with episode one I did try this before 
but I kind of failed because I didn't stick to it because I wasn't posting on YouTube as much. But now I try to post at least two times a week. I try, sometimes it's just one time a week. Sometimes it's no times a week, but mostly lately it's been at least one time a week. I'm gonna have to rearrange this because like I said, I think it's making me sick. And plus I need something new in here. So let's get started with rearranging. Something will come to my mind, but I'm thinking putting my bed near this window because this window is like the newer window. It's not cold at night. Also look at all of these clothes that I have on the ground. This is actually embarrassing. Like, look at all of this. Ugh, I can't even. But at least this side of the room is like basically clean. I need to make my bed. For now, I'm gonna do my usual make the bed and throw all of these clothes on the bed. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But I literally just found a freaking charger laying in my bed and Kevin's dirty sock. He always just throws them off in the bed. I'm glad I realized that I wasn't recording. And also, I think my battery is about to die. I'm gonna lay these pillows down since I'm gonna be moving my bed. Let's just put it like this. Let me show y'all something really embarrassing I did that really gets on my nerves every time I look at it. I was trying to record a video of me like waking up out of bed. It was like a morning routine or something like that. I have one of those things that stick to the back of your phone where it's like you can use it anywhere. What is it called? Flipstick? Anyways, so it sticks anywhere. So it kind of works as like a tripod. You don't need a tripod. You just stick it to anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I had the bright idea to stick it to my ceiling and look what I did. I freaking left a marking on my ceiling. The paint is now off and I don't know how the heck I'm gonna fix it. Like, do I just paint it, I guess? The things I do for you guys to get good shots. But yeah, the shot wasn't even good. So I ended up deleting it and my phone was like stuck to the ceiling. And when I peeled it off, all the paint came off with it. So love that for me. I'm just procrastinating. Let me put all these clothes on the bed. Then I'm gonna rearrange my room. Room. There's my Yiddy bra. What the heck? I've been looking for this. What are you doing in here? Ariana, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm struggling extra hard because I'm like, I got that sickness in me. Well, according to my doctor, I don't, but I feel it. It's deep down. So this one, I'm actually not gonna put on the bed since it's already in a basket. I'm just gonna put it in the corner. I already see some loose socks under the bed. I'm gonna assume these are dirty because I'm not doing the sniff test today. Now time to move the bed. First, let me move this thing out of the way because this is where I'm gonna put the bed. Oh no, oh man, my sunset lamp broke. That's what I get for not taking care of things. <gasps> Ew! There's so much dust under there. That's not cool. <sighs> See, who needs a man? I'm strong enough. I think I pushed it on the wrong side. I can buy myself flowers. Find my name in the sand. I told myself it's like my room just did like a 180. It's kind of nostalgic because my room used to be like this. Well, kind of. Play music. Play music. What do I even pay you for, Siri? clothes and then also that basket. I'm also gonna watch Gossip Girl while I'm doing it. Come on Stormy. from Walmart. It's what I store all of my clothes on, but they're not very sturdy, I'm gonna be honest. They're not good quality. I don't even need instructions because I already know the deal. Baby, you know all the places. Now that I have that put together, I'm gonna hang all the clothes on there that I'm gonna be selling in my show. Yeah. 
my head From the past to future play War change, yeah, yeah, yeah My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered every time Never mind, it's just life I don't want to make too many promises too soon, but I'm just unpacking these bags that I got from the beauty supply store. And hopefully I will make this a series of, you know, me getting my life together. And in one of those videos, I would love to show me putting in these passion twists that I bought. I got three packs of the passion twists. Hopefully that will be enough. They are 14 inch. I didn't want them too long. This was the shortest that they had. Then I also just got this longer hair. This is just for like random hairstyles to practice and stuff. I'm just so excited to get into trying to like add braiding hair to my own hair. Oh, who's calling me? Hello? What are you doing? Cleaning. Cleaning what? The house. Okay, I love you, bye. I love you. I love you. Anyways, like I was saying, I went to the beauty supply store like so long ago. I forgot that I got this bandana there as well. And then this is from when I went a different time. I got this curly hair. I think it was for either boho braids or passion twist. I couldn't remember. It'll get used. I don't know. I've been so into doing protective styles. I really need to do something now because I get tired of just dealing with my hair. And I also got these little hair accessories to clip in whenever I do my hair and then I got this juicy juice a lip gloss and then a crochet needle because I needed it for the hairstyles that I'm gonna be doing those bags have been sitting in the corner of my room for like two weeks so I'm glad I finally cleared them out 